This little girl thought a bride she saw on the street was the princess from her book. I'm crying. This is a kids are stupid moment, but this is this is a wholesome kids are stupid moment. Like she has no idea, she's oblivious, but it's it's kind of nice, you know. What's up, boys? Today I am blessing your YouTube feeds with yet another R slash kids are stupid video. It's a classic. It never gets old. So uh, you're welcome. You can call me uh, God, Dark Dom. At this point, I should start my own religion. Anyway, I just wanted to say that this Wednesday I'm dropping a different type of video, and it's really really good. I know it's not a Reddit video. Video, please, I'm begging you, give it a chance. It's funny. I promise. Okay, please. For this video, tell me in the comments something stupid that you did when you were a kid. I'm interested in hearing your stories. Also, a huge percentage of you guys who watch my videos aren't even subscribed, and we're like so, so, so close to 400k, so any subscriptions would be greatly appreciated. Anyway, with that being said, enjoy the video, boys. Woman in my train carriage smoothly telling the conductor that her son is traveling free because he's only four, while the kid repeatedly yells, but I'm not four! <laughs> Shh! You're four, okay? We get we we need the free trip. Come on, just shut your mouth. You're four. My mother once threatened to make my brother six and I four sleep outside if we didn't get our room cleaned up. So we decided that we should probably spend the rest of our day preparing to sleep outside because that would be way easier than cleaning our room. Our bright idea was to dig holes for us to sleep in so that we could cover ourselves in leaves and sticks to act as blankets. So instead of my mom finding her sons cleaning the room, she found them digging their own graves in the backyard. Which probably ended up taking more time than cleaning your room would have taken anyway, but I mean, kids don't know that. Once when I was nine, my teacher told me to write the most beautiful love story I could imagine. And I wrote a story about a shark and a horse who fell in love, and the horse jumped into the sea to be with the shark, but it drowned and died. And the shark was so sad that it also died. The teacher called my parents. This kid's writing tragedies at the young age of nine. Romeo and Juliet? No, thank you. I will be reading a floozy's a death shark and a horse story, because that's the that that's what they should assign to third graders when, you know, when it's time for some summer reading. When in the car with my daughter, she has my phone running Spotify. We have a game where she plays any song ever, and I can guess the artist and title within seconds of listening. She believes I'm a musical genius. She's unaware the song info is on the title screen behind the wheel. I mean, she probably can't even read, so she's just like, what the heck? Mom, how much music do you listen to? How do you know all of these people? You know who amazes me? Feet. I don't know how that guy gets on every song, and he sounds different on like every song too, but man, he is on a lot of songs, and I don't really even know like who he is. I don't know the man behind feet, but I, I guess he's probably really rich because he's on so many huge songs. So recently, my little brother has been watching One Piece, and I told him it's a Japanese cartoon, and it's been two weeks since, and now he thinks he can speak Japanese because he can understand the characters. It's in English. Just let him have it, dude. He probably thinks he's in Mr. Worldwide over here. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, uh, watched one dub anime and, uh, basically can, uh, understand all of Eastern language. Not even just Japan. I can understand every language in Asia. When I was, like, seven or eight and I lost my tooth, I would clean it thoroughly and remove all the blood and flesh from it because I thought it increased its value. Yeah, because when I lost my tooth, I immediately went on the internet and I searched up eBay and I listed it on Craigslist and eBay and sold it for about $10,000. That is actually how I was able to buy the computer that I'm making this video on. It's true. I just lost a couple teeth. And you guys can do it too. A conversation I overheard of two kids today at the lake. Kid 1, come back here. Kid 2, about 30 meters away on a rubber boat. What? Kid 1, come here. Kid 2, I can't hear you. Come here so I can hear you. Kid 1, oh stop, I know you can hear me. Kid 2, <laughs> No, I can't. Yeah, uh, obviously he can't, dude. He's responding to all of your all of your messages. He's he can't hear you. Mom just told me that when one of my sisters saw a chicken for the first time, aged 18 months, she laughed so hard she vomited. What? Wait. What is a chicken 18 months? What does that look like? <laughs> I think this is just a normal- am I missing something? Wait, were they si were they 18 months? I'm so confused. This looks like a normal chicken to me, although they are pretty- they are pretty funny looking. My sister is dumb. So a few days ago, me and my sister were watching the Bratz Cinderella movie, and today she just realized that the story was like Cinderella. The main character's name was Cinderella. They just gotta be a little bit more observant, I'm sorry. When my son was four, he saw a commercial that said, Brushing alone is not enough to prevent cavities and tooth decay. So he made us start brushing our teeth with him. It's been three years. Nobody tell him. This kid's gonna be like moving out to college. He's gonna graduate high school. He's gonna be going to a different state to go to college. And he's gonna be like, wait a minute. You're telling me that you're not coming with me? No, you're going to college alone. 
what am I supposed to do when I have to brush my teeth? I have to brush them alone? I can't do that. That's not nearly enough to prevent cavities and tooth decay. What am I going to do? When I was young and I'd go to bed, I would stare at the ceiling until I passed out. I was nine years old when I found out about closing your eyes to go to sleep. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. Come on. Come on. That, that is... I'm sorry. That's fake. It's fake. That gets the fake award from me. It's not true. They were like, hmm, what will get me a lot of upvotes on r slash kids are stupid? Oh, let me just make up a story that is like literally physically impossible. When I was six or seven, I really loved swinging on the swing set. A fun thing to do at my local grade school was to lean back as far as possible at the very top of our swing forward so we could watch the ground rush up toward us as we swung back down. It was spooky and thrilling and everything a six-year-old future adrenaline junkie could ask for. One day, mid-swing, a brilliant idea dawned on me. This is a scary and fun experience when I'm holding onto the chains. It would be so much more exciting if I let go of them, right? To this day, I wonder if anyone saw some stupid little blonde girl just swing up, lean back, and with 100% confidence, backwards swan dive straight onto a face plant on the ground. I don't know, but it probably looked pretty cool. You probably did a couple, like, 360s in the air, you know, and, and a triple backflip gainer, you know what I mean? So my grandma is a dental hygienist, and one of her patients is a teacher. She told my grandma that her first graders are swapping masks because they like the ones that their friends have better. And the teachers are just like, all right, well, I guess that's, uh, what happens happens. I'm not gonna step in and, and stop that from happening. I'm just gonna, you know, sit there and be like, ha! Huh, I'm gonna tell my people at the dentist's office about that later. When I was about eight, I used to eat sweets at night, but after doing this for a bit, I needed to refill this mini suitcase I had that I stored my sweets in. I went down to the kitchen where the sweets were, but my mom was doing something in there at the time, so I told her to turn around and look at the wall whilst I refilled my sweets. I got caught. What? So she didn't listen to you? Oh my god. Wow, she betrayed your trust. You'll never be able to trust her again with anything. I knew a boy named Sean, regular class, teacher would call his name, and his twin named Sean, P.E., would see his name only written at school when I was a kid. It was way too long till I realized they were the same kid. I remember when I was a kid, my grandpa made me a sandwich with cheese on it. Me being a picky child, I told him that I don't like cheese with holes on it. He said that don't eat the holes, and I just said okay and ate the sandwich. Well, I mean, hey, I guess your grandpa knows what he's talking about. When I was five, I had an eyelash fall out, and my mom told me to make a wish. Well, I dropped it before I could make it and began crying. My mom went to the bathroom and plucked one of hers to give me so I could make a wish. That's weird, but I guess kind of wholesome. Like, thanks, mom. But I don't you, don't, you don't really need to do that. As a kid, I heard my grandpa say the word and upon looking at the TV, I thought that the was a soldier. He was dressed in camouflage clothing. And back then, I wanted to be a soldier. So one I could, I could see where this is going. So one day at a dollar store, I was buying a toy police car. And the cashier was like, Aw, do you want to become a police officer when you go older? And I replied, No, I want to be a Wow. She was probably like, oh, please, um, please leave my store. When I went to first grade, I made my mom a note that said, I think, I know, I'm a horrible son, and I know you didn't want me, calling myself names, etc. When I got home, I gave it to my mom, and she cried. I was confused because I thought she would be happy. <laughs> I was the dumbest child out there. Why would she be happy about that? Why would, what? I'm so confused. Yes, I'm so happy that my son hates his existence on this planet and calls himself names all the time. Let's go! Alright, that's enough stupid kids for me. I gotta get off. I got no ideas when I'm rolling off a beat. You a stupid broke boy and your fit ain't clean. Ain't clean, ain't clean. Yeah, what the fuck you mean? Like to keep my circle tight. I